Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're looking at a pretty special beer. This one's from Goose Island Brewing, part of their Bourbon County series. This is their Bourbon County brand barley wine ale. Coming in at 12.1% alcohol by volume, this was released on Black Friday, along with Bourbon County Stout, as well as a few other variations. This is the first time this beer has been bottled, and what is it? Well, it's an English-style barley wine that they aged in previously used bourbon barrels that previously held this year year's batch or previous batches of Bourbon County Stout as well as some fresh whiskey barrels from what I gather. So this really doesn't have anything to do with uh, King Henry, you know, it wasn't aged in the Pappy barrels or anything. I don't even know if it's the same recipe, but I loved King Henry. It was a fantastic, fantastic beer. So looking to see how this one stacks up. Let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, give me the final verdict on the Bourbon County Barley Wine Ale. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Bourbon County Barley Wine. Wow, big caramel, toffee. You definitely get that English-style barley wine. Coconut, vanilla, definitely getting that bourbon barrel. Very similar to Bourbon County style, but maybe a little bit more subdued, more malt forward, a little bit of a sweet booziness. Just a really, really nice smelling beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the Bourbon County Barley Wine. Cheers. Oh man, yeah, right at the front of the tongue. Big, big, big sweetness. Again, caramel, toffee, sweet sugary bready notes. Very, very English style for sure. Then it follows immediately with a little bit of barrel. You're definitely getting a toasted coconut, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of an oakiness, a little bit of a charred uh, type of flavor. Middle of the mouth, I'm getting more, a little bit of a dark fruit characteristic, raisin, plum, again, playing off that caramel and toffee that you're getting from the malt uh, in this one. A little bit of fruitiness in there. I'm assuming it's probably from the alcohol. I'm not actually tasting any alcohol. I might be getting a little bit of sweetness from it, very slight. Uh, there's no burn whatsoever. Really, really sweet aftertaste. In that aftertaste, I'm getting more of that coconut, toasted coconut, big bourbon flavors. I don't know that it's quite as bourbon barrel forward as say, as Bourbon County Stout is, but it's definitely, definitely there and a very, very nice drinking beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Bourbon County brand, Barley Wine, 12.1%, kind of available now. It's probably sold out pretty much everywhere. Guys, this one is getting an A. You know, it's a fantastic base beer. This English-style Barley Wine, it's one of my favorite styles. I'm not a big American-style Barley Wine, but the English style, I just love the caramel and toffee, the big kind of raisin malt build to it. And then to throw it into those bourbon barrels, it just kind of accentuates that even more, bringing more of that caramel and toffee, playing off vanilla, playing off coconut. It just works at 12%. It's actually, a, it's a sipper, but you don't really taste that alcohol. And I have to make the obvious comparison to King Henry. How does it stack up? Well, I think King Henry is definitely a better beer, but it was in a different barrel. So it's kind of comparing apples and oranges, kind of, uh, but not really. It's a fantastic beer. It does stand on its own. Is it as good as Bourbon County Stout? Personally, I don't think so. But again, you know, apples and oranges, this stands on its own as a fantastic beer, and I hope they make more of it next year. So with that said, Getting an A for me, and remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.